Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here, back with another episode of the channel. And today we are going to see Clerk. So Clerk is an authentication provider for React and Next.js, which helps you authenticate easier than ever before. So basically, as compared to other authentication providers, Clerk is much more easier. And if you are making a project as a hobby or just for yourself, I think Clerk should be the best authentication provider you should use. And I'm saying that this is even simpler than Firebase. So let's go ahead. And create our next tab here. Next tab here. And I'll name it Clerk Demo YT. And uh, I'll also use, uh, no, I don't need any example. Okay, so I'll just hit enter. And uh, this should start making your next tab. So till then, let's go ahead and uh, register on the Clerk website. So this is the clock website right here. Let me just get it to full screen. Okay, so once you create an account here, just go to your dashboard and here we need to create a new application. So I had this test which I used for testing and I was learning for the first time. So I use this. You, you can just go ahead and create a new, you can just click on add application. You can provide the application's name. So I'll say clerk test this time. And um, I'll just keep it to password. I will use Google as a social provider and I'll click add application. Perfect. Now this is perfect. Now we need the front end API key for here. We don't need the back end API key because we are not covering back end in this episode. So I'll just go ahead and copy the front end API key. Now let's check if the next is done. Okay. Now let's go ahead to clerk demo YT. And I'll open Visual Studio Code here. Perfect. Let me get it to full screen. Now let's go ahead and create a new file to store our environment variable. So I'll create a new file. I'll call it dot env dot local. And here I will store my environment variable. So I'll say next public clerk app ID. I'll just name it app ID. And then I'll just paste it in here. So we are using next public as a prefix so that Next.js knows that, hey, this environment variable is safe to be exposed on the client side and this should not be just reserved for the server side. So I'll hit command J to open up the terminal. I'll split it into two just in case and I'll run npm run dev. Now this should start our development server. So let me just go ahead and uh, let's just go to the development server right now. We don't need two tabs. I'll go ahead to, I'll just go to localhost 3000. I will get this browser here so that it's easy for us to work. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and install one package. We just need one package here. So we will do npm install clerk, we add the rate clerk slash clerk react I'll hit enter and it will start installing now let's go to pages uh, we need to go to index.js let's just remove everything here we don't need anything like really nothing let's just remove everything till the footer we just keep the head tag and uh, because it doesn't do any harm okay so let's save this file uh, if you go to browser use we'll see nothing is there because we just remove that thing now we need to set up our clerk application in this Next.js app. So how do we do that? Let's go to app.js and we need to use something called a clerk provider and we will wrap our application with a clerk provider. So I'll cut this, I'll paste this. We need the front end API. So we'll say front end API and this should be process.env. And we will get this key here next public clerk app ID and I'll just paste it in and then we need a navigate function so that clerk knows how to navigate through the app because by default clerk doesn't know that how the navigation works in this application. So we need to provide it a method. So we will get the link and we just need to navigate it. So how do we do that? We will need a we will need a router. So we will use the use router hook built in in Next.js. So I'll do const router is equal to use router. Perfect. And now I'll say 
router dot push and I'll pass in two. Perfect. Now we have the entire application in clock provider. Now we can do a lot of different things and it all will be just easier. So now let's go ahead and um, go into uh, index.js file. And now here we need to basically just provide options based on if the user is logged in or not. And thankfully clock make this a lot easier. So traditionally, if you're, if you're using like some other authentication provider, they will give you, give you a hook to check authentication or maybe you need to check your cookies yourself or maybe local storage but in clerk it's very simple so we'll have a, like a header tag just a dummy header tag we won't have be doing like a like styling or anything so here clerk provides us with two components so we have signed in and signed out so basically let's deal with the signed out component first so basically whenever your user is not signed in anything under this anything under this component will be rendered but if your user is signed in anything under this component will be rendered so this is super easy to do so you can have like pages and you can just have signed out and signed in and it will be a lot easier for you to handle so for now i just want to have some links so if the user is signed out we will have link href and um, the first link will go to slash sign in and I'll call it sign in. I'll copy this, paste it in. I'll call this sign up and I'll call this sign up too. And I'll just paste one here again and I'll call it user so that we can get the user dashboard or some and we can manage the user. So I'll say manage user. And then we will have a cute little sign out button, which is not even styled, but we can style out, style it out ourselves if we want to. So I will write sign out button and I'll go ahead and save this. And if we go back to our app, you will see sign in and sign up because we aren't signed up. We aren't logged in yet. So it will show up these two links. Now, if we go ahead and, and click sign in, it will do nothing. It will say 404 page not found because we haven't made the page, page yet. So let's go ahead and create it right now. In the pages, I'll create a new folder called sign, sign in as the name of the route. And, in, and this is important. Inside this, I'll create a new file. I'll call it triple dot index dot js index then i'll close the brackets and then i'll call dot js this is because clerk needs the access to the other parameters passed through the route so we need to name the file like this to catch all the parameters sent to the file to the route actually so now i'll say rfc perfect i'll i won't call this index i'll just call in sign in perfect and we just we don't even need to do anything we'll just say Clerk provides us. Uh, uh, provides us with a component. I just call it sign in. Uh, there is one. Okay, we need to change the component name for this to work. So I'll say sign in page. I guess because sign in is a component name in Clerk also. So I'll just say sign sign in. And in sign in, we need to pass in two things. First of all, the path of the page. So let's do that. So path sign in. And we need to pass the routing method. So in routing, we will just say path. That's all. I'll just copy this thing and we will use this both in the, even in sign up. So let's go ahead and create a new folder here. In pages I'll go ahead and create a new folder called sign up I will create a new file inside it I'll call it index.js again I'll RFC I'll remove this oh okay I messed up so this should be sign up page and we should be returning this component but not exactly this we will change it to sign up 
perfect uh, is this imported here yeah perfect now let's go to the manage user thing so basically when we're managing user uh, we need to do the similar thing and it's very easy to do so i'll create a new folder in pages i'll call it user i'll create a new file inside it again like this the same way we did before index dot js and now i'll just go ahead and um, rfc i'll call it user page and here we'll just paste this again hold on and now i'll just say user profile now this will get auto imported i will need to change the path so this should be slash user perfect i'll go to sign up this should be slash sign up maybe i messed up the sign in too yeah this should be slash sign in perfect now let's go to the browser and let's see what happens okay so i'll go ahead and try sign in now this should do all of this thing but here we will do quickly sign in with google let's wait i'll select the account now it's processing and we are at manage user and signed out so basically uh, let's go back to our index.js so basically whatever inside the signed in component has been rendered so basically when the user is signed in all of the things are rendered under that so if we click on manage user clerk gives us this this is the best thing of clerk i guess if you like if you go to security this is it gives you all the details like where are your um, where where is your account active at like this is so good you can even have two-step authentication clock handles authentication from one end to other end and this is the best thing about clock so if you are like um, i won't recommend this for huge projects like in huge projects you would definitely want like a lot of customization and i don't think like clock would be able to give you that but uh, i'm not sure about that i have not used clock in some big project till now i need to try so yeah you can even add your phone number you can con you connect other accounts this is just so good and you can even go to your clock dashboard and you can add new social logins i guess you can just add facebook you need to add the client id though you need to do that um, you can just try to add these things and it will just set it up for you and it will be just easy for you so that was it for this uh, video today guys if um, if you think this video provided any value to you hit the like button and just leave a comment f with any suggestions you have for this channel or for me and how could i improve my teaching skills and um, if you really want to support me hit the subscribe button that keeps me motivated to create new videos so that was it bye